All right, let me be honest with you. Having good intentions is a fantastic starting point, but it's just the beginning. Intentions alone won't get you where you want to be. It's the action that truly matters. So in this video, we're going to uncover the incredible power of taking action. We will explore the importance of self-discipline. I will share what worked for me and equip you with the right tools to turn your intentions into tangible results. So let's discover how to take control of your life. Any of us start our journeys with the best intentions. We dream big, we set goals, and we talk about what we're going to achieve. We've all been there, right? And don't get me wrong, intentions are crucial. They are the spark that ignites the fire. Intentions give us direction. They help us visualize what we want our lives to look like. But here's the dilemma. Intentions alone won't get you there. It's easy to get caught in the never ending loop of planning, discussing, imagining, without ever taking concrete steps forward to your goals. You see, the road to success is not paved with intentions. It's paved with action. It's about turning those dreams into reality. And that requires one magic ingredient, self-discipline. When your actions align with your intentions, you're on the right track. Self-discipline is what separates the dreamers from the doers and the talkers from the achievers. Think about it. Every big achievement in history came from self-discipline. Inventors, artists, athletes, entrepreneurs. They didn't just dream, they worked hard, stayed focused, turned their dreams into reality. But here's the thing about self-discipline. It's like a muscle. The more you train it, the stronger it becomes. And the stronger it becomes, the easier it is to turn your intentions into actions. So now, how can you strengthen your self-discipline muscle? Well, it starts with setting clear, actionable goals. Creating a plan and sticking to it no matter what. So it's about creating habits that support your goals. Small, consistent actions every day can lead into monumental changes over time. But here's the best part. Self-discipline is not reserved for the chosen ones. It's a skill that anyone can develop, regardless where you start. It's a skill that empowers you to take control over your life, to turn your intentions into actions, and to write your success story. So by now, I hope you're starting to realize that it's not about intentions alone that create change. It's about what you do with them. Think about your own life for a second. How many times have you said, I intend to do this? Yeah, I tried to achieve that. And now ask yourself, how many times have you had those intentions turned into substantial results? Here's the reality check. Intentions without actions are like a car without an engine. It looks very impressive, but it's going nowhere. But let's not dwell on what doesn't work. Instead, let's focus on what does work. Massive action. It's about taking those intentions and transforming them into a relentless pursuit of your goals. So what sets apart those who achieve their dreams from those who merely dream is the ability to act even when faced with fear, doubt, or adversity. Remember this, action is the antidote to fear. The more you act, the more confident you become. And that confidence fuels even more action. But it's not just about random action. It's about focused and consistent action. It's about having a plan and relentlessly executing it. So here's the challenge for you today. Take one intention you have. Maybe it's about fitness, starting a business or learning a new skill. And now identify one small actionable step you can take right now. And I mean right now, not tomorrow. And please remember that it doesn't have to be a giant leap. Small actions consistently taken lead into significant results. Self-discipline is the cornerstone to success. It's the ability to do what needs to be done, even if you don't feel like doing it. Think about all those things you have achieved in your life, whether it's getting through school, excelling at your job, or mastering a skill. Self-discipline played a crucial role, right? Now, I won't sugarcoat it. Self-discipline isn't always fun or easy. In fact, it often means doing the hard things, the hard things most people shy away from. But here's the magic of self-discipline. It transforms your I wish into I will. It's the force that turns your intentions into unwavering commitment. So how do you cultivate self-discipline? It starts with setting clear and actionable goals. Kind that fire up your passion. Next, you need a plan. Break down those big goals into smaller, manageable steps. And this way, you always know your next move. It's a step-by-step -step process. And when it comes to distractions, and they will come, trust me, 
You must learn to say no. Know the things that don't align with your goals. It's about aligning your daily actions with your long-term ambition. And I think this is probably one of the hardest things that was for me in the past about saying no to things that were normal now but didn't match with my long-term goals. So now I want you to think about a time when you demonstrated self-discipline. Maybe it was acing an exam, sticking to your workout routine or completing a challenging project. Recall that feeling of accomplishment, the sense of control. That's the power of self-discipline. It empowers you to create the life you want. So now that you understand the power of self-discipline, let's equip you with the tools to harness it effectively. Strategy number one, the art of prioritization. So how do you prioritize effectively? It's simple. Identify your most important tasks, the one that align with your major goals. And once you've identified them, tackle them with the first thing in the morning when your energy and willpower are at their peak. Try to start your day with some achievement. Strategy number two, the power of habit. Ever heard of the phrase, we are what we repeatedly do? It's true. Habits are the building blocks of self-discipline. Start by identifying habits that will lead you closer to your goals. Maybe it's waking up early, exercising daily or dedicating focused hours to your work. Then use habit stacking. Attach your new habits to your existing ones. For example, if you're already in the habit of your morning coffee every single morning, add a few minutes of goal visualization to that. Strategy number three, accountability partners. I mean, we're social creatures and sharing our goals with someone else can be a game changer. Find an accountability partner who shares your ambition. You will motivate each other and celebrate successes and keep each other on track. It's very important to choose your friends wisely because I think you might have heard the saying, you are the average of the five persons you most interact with. And it's true. Make sure to keep an environment that motivates you and stimulates you towards where you want to go in life. And lastly, strategy number four, celebrate your wins. Remember, self-discipline isn't about grinding without breaks. It's also about celebrating every step forward. When you achieve a milestone, no matter how small, celebrate it. Reward yourself for staying committed to your goals. So now you've learned the significance of self-discipline, the difference between intent and action, and strategies to bolster your discipline. And now it's time to apply what you have discovered with some final steps. Step one, set clear specific goals. Your goals must be crystal clear. Define what you want to achieve, by when, and why it matters. Step two, create an action plan. A goal without a plan is just a wish. Break your goals into smaller manageable tasks and create a daily or weekly action plan. Step three, execute consistently. Consistency is the secret weapon. Commit to taking action daily, even when motivation wanes. It's the consistency that derives results. Step number four, embrace failure as feedback. Not every action will lead into success and that's okay. Failure is feedback, guiding you towards better strategies. See it as a lesson. Step number five, stay accountable. Remember your accountability partner? Keep each other in check. Share your progress, celebrate achievements, and stay committed. Step six, celebrate every victory. Whether it's big or small, victory deserve recognition. Celebrate them. Take your mom for dinner, book a well-deserved day at the spa, whatever, celebrate it. And finally, step seven, keep evolving. Your journey doesn't end here. As you take action and see your results, your goals may evolve. Embrace this growth and keep pushing forward. And there you have it. A comprehensive guide on turning intentions into actions. And remember, it's not just about what you intend to do. It's about the actions you take that define your path to success. Now, go out there, seize the day, and turn your intentions into powerful force of action. Your dreams are waiting for you to make them a reality.